Hello, and welcome to another edition of Paranormal Activity and Mysterious Stories. Let me give you a quick preview of what I got coming up in this video. Uh, the first is a video of a couple UFOs flying over a volcano. Also have this video here from uh, Mr. MBBB333. Someone sent him this photo and um, he found these four objects that are very similar in this one image, which is definitely strange. Um, let's see. Also have this video from Reddit that shows this light show. I think this is like the Washington Needle or something like that. I'm not too sure what this is called, but uh, this is a very interesting light show. And, you know, people are, have been talking about that Project Blue Beam, I think, where they say the government is going to uh, fake an alien invasion. Well, after watching this video, I think they could definitely do it. Uh, let's see. This is a video from Reddit. It shows a strange object flying above a jungle. Uh, I also have this video here of this uh, little UFO tracking this plane. I, I mean, if that is a plane. Let's see. I have this video here. This I'm sure many people have seen uh, clips of this video where, you know, these Russian soldiers are um, securing this crashed UFO. Well, this is the actual, the entire documentary, hour and 26 minute documentary hosted by Roger Moore. Uh, let's see. I have this link here. This is from CA.gov. They're declassified images of what uh, look to be UFOs through the years. I mean, not, you know, definitely not the best images. They're all Xerox copies, but some of these documents, um, you know, you can make out text, give it a good read. And then last is this article here about the Milky Way is littered with dead alien civilizations. So let's see, let me go to the beginning here. Let me go full screen on this video. Check this out. Yeah, look at this thing. Yeah, I don't think those are planes. Because, yeah, I'm sure planes aren't allowed to fly this close to volcanoes. But there's that. And then in this video, there's also, um, let's see, this here. Let me play this part. Yeah, watch this. Yeah, look at this light. Oops. Go back to that. Here we go. Look at that light. So now, you know, this may not necessarily be anything extraterrestrial. I mean, this could be a, you know, a, a satellite that, that we've made doing that. Yeah, this whole video is this, this guy talking about, uh, you know, the same two videos over and over again. But uh, I will leave a link in the description. Let me go on to the next video here. Uh, this is from Mr. MB333. Someone sent him this photo, and um, he says that uh, he found these objects that all look the same. Hear what he has to say here. Looking out into deep space, photos from 2020. Over here, you're going to see what looks like an object, okay? have no way of knowing what this is other than these four objects look very similar. And nothing else in this photograph looks similar to each other. Everything is unique except these four objects. They look almost identical. That's impossible. Here's another one there. We're going to go in close and take a look at yet another one right down here. And I'm going to zoom in even closer and let you guys decide for yourself. So, are these things just random stars or galaxies, or are they something else? I don't know. Here's another one here. Look. Yeah, think about that. He found four of these things. I mean, yeah, unless this is a, a copy and paste, I wonder if this is uh, maybe a Dyson sphere, right? Are, are there a civilization that was able to build something around a star so that they can produced energy from the star? Is that what these are? These Dyson spheres? It's identical to the first two you just saw. Here's yet another one. What are those things? 
yeah, this is very odd. He said there's 12 of these things, which again is also odd, and all four of them are exactly alike. So uh, I can't play the whole video, but um, I will leave a link in the description. And remember, you know, this is a, this is a 12 minute video and it's uh, at the end, the nine minute mark. So uh, let's check it out. Let's see, let me go to this video here. This is from Reddit. Watch this light show that this, uh, I think this is called the Washington Needle or something like that. Like, I'm very confused. Like, how are they able to project the light into the ether? What is, you know, what is the light reflecting off of in order to give us this 3D look? Yeah, you know, I've uh, never bought into that Project Blue Beam where people are saying that the government is going to fake an alien invasion. Um, but, you know, after watching this video, I'm going to be a little more skeptical. Look at that. Yeah, if they wanted to do an alien invasion, they could definitely pull it off. Well, anyways, that's it for this video I want to play. I'll leave a link in the description. Let me go on to this next one. This is kind of interesting. You know, I'm just baffled. Like, how, how was this person able to see this object so far away? Looks like it's going to descend down into the jungles. What is this thing doing? Yeah, well, that is it for the video. Uh, you know, it looks like it went through some kind of stabilization program, too. But um, I will leave a link in the description. Let me go on to this next one. This video here just shows... It's only 36 seconds long. But yeah, you can definitely see something tracking this. I mean, is this, is this a plane or are, they, are these both UFOs? Well, I mean, yeah, they're definitely both the UFOs because you can't identify them. But um, yeah, are they both out of this world? Or can they both be explained? Or, at least, or maybe one of them can be explained. I don't know. I'll leave a link in the description. See, now this video, I'm sure many people have seen clips of this. You know, this is a Roger Moore hosted video where uh, you see these Roman, or excuse me, these Russian soldiers securing this uh, crashed UFO. Well, this is the entire hour and 26 minute video. I mean, this video goes into, I think, the Russian program, you know, or their investigation into it. But anyways, this is the whole video. Excuse me. Anyways, this is the, uh, the entire documentary. I'll leave a link in the description so you could check it out. Uh, this link here, this is from the CIA.gov website, and these are declassified and approved for release 2013. But, uh, you know, these aren't the best. These are Xerox copies of, I guess, photographs. I mean, this is definitely not a UFO. Here's a few articles in there that, uh, it's you know, it's legible. I think this is the Sportster or, or the uh, alien reproduction vehicle. I think this is something that the US military made. Aerodynamics of the disc. Author's impression of a sectional view of a scout ship. Yeah, but you know, um, for you people who are waiting for disclosure, uh, 
this stuff is only 80% real, but in 180 days, you know, if a uh, head of state comes out and makes the announcement that UFOs are real, then then all of this stuff will then be actually validated 100%. But but until then, it's only, you know, 70, 80, 90% real. So just wait until 180 days. After 180 days, this will all be 100% real. If they, you know, if someone makes that announcement again, I, I honestly don't believe big D disclosures are ever going to take place. I think disclosure has been taking place since uh, the you know since the Roswell the, the Roswell leak but anyways uh, let me go on to this next article here this uh, says the Milky Way is littered with dead alien civilizations a study has been published to the Oryx database I don't think I'm saying that right that models the evolution of the Milky Way since its estimated beginning around 13 billion years ago authored by three Caltech physicists and a high school student. Geez, who is this high school student? Uh, the new model builds on the famous equation developed by SETI founder Frank Drake in the 1960s. Using astronomy and statistical modeling, the researchers estimated how much intelligent life could have lived and died within our Milky Way galaxy. The researchers looked at rocky Earth-like planets around our solar system that are near sun-like stars and considered whether there would have been a time period when life could have formed there, taking into account that intelligent beings typically end up destroying themselves. What? Taking into account that intelligent beings typically end up destroying themselves. How did they determine that? And... Is that our fate too? Huh, according to their model, intelligent life could have emerged 8 billion years after the Milky Way formed in a region 13,000 light years from the galactic center, which is half as far from the galactic center as Earth. The studies suggest that early galactic civilizations reached their peak 5 billion years ago, but it is most likely they annihilated themselves due to something like nuclear war or climate change. You know, I think these scientists are assuming that all life is as reckless as as humans. And you know, and, and maybe, I don't know, maybe they're right. Yeah, I find that very strange that they say that intelligent beings typically end up destroying themselves. That's a new one on me. But anyways, uh, I will leave a link to this article in the description, and uh, that is going to be it for this video. If you like things like this, please give this video a thumbs up. Please share this video, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'll have more things like this. Take care.